Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to I'm... prod uncertainly no. with a needle. Clench your fists. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> what? No, dude. Okay, so who wants a recap of what's happened so far? Basically, we went and we explored down south and we had an amazing, like a little side quest where you go and you find this, uh, you find this old lady who's, uh, she's getting freaking jumped by two guys and they're like, hey, where's the girl? She's like, I don't know, I swear. And then I end up killing the guys. That's what I did. I killed the guys because they were attacking this woman. And then after I killed them, the lady was like, actually, I know where the girl is. It was their sister. And it's like, uh, okay. Well, now I killed two people. I can explain. Let me show you the girl. So then I take you to the girl, or she takes me to the girl. She said, meet me at the tea house. As I'm going to the tea house, I see a sheep. I see that sheep and I'm like, hello sheep. And I go to pet the sheep and it says, bah, bah. And I'm like, that's weird. Sheeps don't sound like that. So then I took my sword and I did divine smite and I slammed my sword right through the sheep's head. And then what happened whenever I did that was it turns out this entire beautiful forest was actually a swamp. It was an illusion, right? It was a trick. Wait, what? So whenever we get to the tea house, oh wait, it's not a tea house. It's a gnarled tea house. And the old lady isn't an old lady. She's a witch. Yeah. So the witch is now uh, capturing this this girl. So the men were not the bad guys. She was. And then we basically had to go and we had to kill the witch to save the girl. And then there's like a whole nother storyline on top of that, which was, oh, it turns out the girl was pregnant and the girl had agreed to give up her baby to the witch in order for the witch to bring back her husband from the dead but we killed her but then we also stole her wand when we stole her wand we tried to bring back her husband from the dead and it turns out that she was gonna scam her anyway because when she when i casted the raised dead he was a zombie he came back as a zombie not as a human so what i do i gave her the wand i said here you go you own your zombie husband now and then she ran off with her zombie husband and her baby intact so that was pretty sick, actually. That was probably, like, I would say that's probably the best stretch of the game that we played so far was yesterday. That was super good. It was super, like, yeah, it was, like, fascinating. You forgot the part where you killed the zombie husband as they were walking away? Yeah. We'll leave that part out. That's fine. Okay, we gotta, we're gonna go back to town, too. Wasn't there something else here that I was gonna do? The cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo, moo, moo. The, the moo, the moo. Yeah, we need because we have something that lets us talk to animals. Ah, uh, hello there, Mr. Uh, Strange Ox. Potion of Animal Speaking. Ready? Oh, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Haven't you ever met anyone who could speak to oxen? A druid or two, I suppose. But the novelty remains fresh. Did you come from Elturel with others? I suppose I did. Yes. I had quite a life in El Toro, chewing cud, pulling carts, etc. <laughs> There's something strange about this ox. What is it? Oh my gosh. Dog shit. That's what we're doing. We're pressing it. We're gonna F8 that bitch. It's in the bag. Oh! Damn! Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. <gasps> Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Ten, I got this easy. I just rolled a 20. It's gonna happen again. Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna save scum this one. Because I want to know what happens here. I think I want to intimidate him. What rings you got, bitch? I'm rolling a 20. Ooh, 18. Here we go. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate. With or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Move. Wait, what? M O O.
timing. <laughs> the timing was so good. So what? He's some kind of like a Trojan horse, apparently. I don't know. That's that's what I think he is. Every time I tune in, you're killing animals. What's the deal? Dude, I just, I like killing random innocents and then reloading. Okay, what's wrong with me? Let's see. I guess we go straight into the Underdark, right? Underdark time chat. What is this? <laughs> this is like a wiener. <laughs> why? Why did I put a wiener on the, on the map, dude? Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? What is Baldur's Gate doing? Starforge? Okay, this is nothing like the Starforge logo, okay? If it's not a normal one, it's, this one's obviously broken. This is like, you know, it, it turns three times. <laughs> Dude, this is the fabled penis F. <laughs> Underdark during our bone. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. Here we go, chat. We're going to the Underdark. You're in the Underdark now. Where's under Gake? darker. Under who dark and you? darker. Uh, where's Gake and who are you? Well, uh... Intimidation? In the name of the absolute, you will let me pass. Deception? I'm afraid Gake is dead. Or athletics? Push Dirk. <laughs> I got this. Ooh, didn't even need the bonus. <laughs> Lazella approves. Okay. When I go, then. I'm gonna make them wet. Good. Oh, I don't have any more lightning damage though. Oh yes. Oh, I got one of them. Wait, do I? Do these guys have good loot? These guys probably have good loot. Wait, no! <laughs> he pushed him off! Gale! What the hell? <laughs> Only S-Man sends Wizard in the middle of mobs. I play like a wild mage. Just blink in there and frost Nova. Okay. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. I'm afraid Gek is dead. No! How do I get one? There's a 5% chance, dude. Critical fail, dude. What a load of Rotho shit. I should have done a long rest, man. Wait. Oh my gosh. Do these guys have good loot? Or no? The Corsair has good loot? Wait, the one that I just knocked has good loot? Well, here, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna hit a long rest. A nice, long, resty rest. I don't need to talk to anybody, do I? My friend! How do you fare? Has your research turned up anything for this parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems Quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Wait, what? What are you doing? Uh-uh. Dude, I, I want to leave. <laughs> I want to leave. How many times have you done this before? I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Trust him, he's a world-renowned newspaper guy. Dude, this is not looking good. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to I'm... prod uncertainly no. with a needle. 
I was gonna leave, but I just want to see the cutscene. Do you have the faintest idea what you're doing? Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Clench your fists. Oh! Shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. Ah! I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. That obstacle is my eye! <laughs> Hold this still as Volo possible. carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. What? <laughs> what? No, dude. I the info out of Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Dude, hold on. If I cancel at this point, do you just... Are you, are, like, what happens? Hold your breath. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have to blight her on the run. <laughs> I agree. It's a feisty critter. <laughs> Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. <laughs> well, that wasn't planned. I don't want this. I just wanted to see the cutscene. I can't seem to see through one of my eyes. Yes, quite. But there is some mild trauma. I can't help but feel partly responsible. No Perhaps loading? There is something to hell with you. I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. What? Conditions bleeding eye. Check both C invisibility. What? No, no, what do you lose though? You lose something. You lost an eye. Should I keep it? I wasn't really planning on keeping it. Okay, whatever, we'll keep it. I'm not gonna push him. I'm afraid Gake is dead. Oh no, do I not have guidance anymore? Damn. Nah. The sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Do I not have guidance on. anymore on Shadowheart? Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. These are my favorite is Benji, because we get to watch most days. Wise may the Bless and keep his F.A.P. Oh. <laughs> Why did that feel like it was part of the cutscene? <laughs> that felt like it was part of the game. Cloud sideways. We've got a welcoming party. Shithead, time you showed up. We got trouble. Spit it out. Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick. Shrug no. The twat soul caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. I'm a true soul, and you will treat me with respect. No, I was told to report to the sergeant. Aye. He sniffed up Gek's corpse. Found the hoon sailing his skiff. That's so. I... 
You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar what a fucking is not liar, infected, dude. What a fucking resonate. Weasley little uh, liar, dude. I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coins. You want through? Make a donation. Uh, I'm not giving you a single coin. Unclog your hole. <laughs> Just shitting around. <laughs> and I'm warning you. Unclog that your hole. soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Okay. So where do we gotta go next? See, interestingly enough, it says that there's this way for the quests, but do I even need to be here? Am I going the wrong way? Shit. You got one of Nair's moon lanterns, Jark. Moon lantern? What's that? If you're headed to Moonrise, you won't last without it. Oh, this is going to Moonrise. Top lands are clogged with the death dark. Choke you in no time. Whatever, I'm not afraid of a few shadows. Well damn. We're fine. Out, take a stroll. Long as you keep your lips off our rail, I don't give two shits. Sounds like the shadow curse. We must be getting closer to Moonrise. Perhaps we should seek out this near while we can. Near Automato. Moonrise Tower holds the answer we see. Curse or not, we can't turn back Stop now. Stop in the dark it is. Look, look, they all they all say let's do it. Let's do it. The Elvenator. You're about to progress Hell. your adventure. Chad, is it time? That's act two. Wait, is this act two right here? This place is huge, don't go yet. Okay. You better hope your little trick. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay, does not fail. <gasps> Wait, what? Touch another innocent and I'll take your head near. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. And you waste your time persecuting them. That is true weakness. You dare speak to me without due reverence. That was your first and last mistake. Thrym, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save him. Good God, my oath, let us see which prevails. Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us. Let his blood prove your devotion. Uh oh. We really set us set ourselves up for bad. Okay, we're gonna run a bless on you, you, and you to open. Okay, disarming attack. They have not attacked. So if I disarm you, saved. Action surge. Another disarm. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit. Dang, it hit, but. It, it got saved. Oh my gosh, he gets two double attacks. Oh my gosh, dude. Lazelle is overpowered now. And I have another offhand attack left. Should I try and AoE these two? Oh my gosh, that's a big AoE, dude. Holy! This guy is here. Who's gonna attack next? This guy is here is gonna attack next. Oh my gosh, genius idea. I'm gonna put Gale over here. So he's he's out of range. Okay, I'm gonna put Lazel here to be in between these two people to have a chance at getting attacked by both of them, two reposts, and then two attacks of opportunity. Oh my gosh, dude, she tried to thunder wave me into the lava and I got saved. That was lucky, dude. Colossal Onslaught. Channel your meddlesome strength and strike all creatures in a line. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Look at this cleave right here. 
Colossal on Onslaught on Sergeant Thryn. Luck of the Far Realms, guaranteed crit. Oh. Holy! What the? <laughs> oh my gosh! And then I have the bonus attack. I can run into this. Cleave? Oh my gosh, dude. There is a chance, a small chance that I can kill both of these guys. Miss, miss, dude. I missed on both. Miss, miss? I think she misses. No! Wait, what? How did Gale get pushed in the lava? How did he get pushed in the lava? Can I, can I, can I pull him out? Um, wait, did he just, wait, Gale is a, what the, Gale's gonna live, wait, hold on, I just gotta miss, <gasps> repost, look at the big repost, okay, hold on, hold on, he has nine health left, passives, turn off my great weapon master, come on, this was a kill, huge dude, dude, I feel like his loot is gonna be insane, I don't wanna waste it. Okay, weak grip. What does that do? It has disadvantage on attack rolls and strength saving rolls. Heretic. Shield of screams. <laughs> Just don't shoot Shadow Heart. <laughs> okay, I'm healing, I'm healing. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna save now. I've missed you, sexy. Wow, dude, that was an amazing fight. Okay, lava power. Okay. Look at all that sweat. We're forging. We got the Iron Man robot. Oh shit! <coughs> Dude, I was literally just gonna go to bed after this, man. Level eight, three hundred health. Am I supposed to be here? I'm just... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why did you run in the lava to hit him? Uh, did he just hit this thing and cause more lava to come out? I wonder if a lightning damage against this thing is going to set it off. Okay, it took zero damage from lightning. 28 damage. Eight, dude. Oh my gosh, the freaking Span. What Rank. character are you romancing the most, and why is it Karlak? I'm romancing myself. Okay, we're going to raise Lazel. And Lazel will second win. Dude, I feel like I'm owning. Like, he's, he's already half health. Oh, well, he moved. That's an issue. Oh, S Fan is incapacitated. He is lethargic for. Oh, because of haste? Consumed by the exhaustion of the aftermath of haste. Destroyer. Nice! Oh, no. Attack of opportunity again? Nice! <coughs> Dude, I am I am not worried in the slightest, actually. You idiot, S fan! Why'd you fall? <laughs> He's the carry, dude. He's the big damn. Okay. Take heal, heal, heal. Okay, drop the heal on S fan. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that is brutal. I'm thinking about how I can even do this. Maybe, maybe if I throw, and I throw the torch at him, okay? Threat assessment, prime target, okay? 
Now I jump to the center. I am now have aggro of him. He always attacks the last target. He's going to run through the lava and he's going to get super heated again. Okay. End turn. Gale is donezo. But he's going to get burned in the lava here. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, that was so sick. That was so good, dude.